Um, do you think kids do better when teachers are behind them supporting them? Yes. Good. Students, teachers, you guys agree, right? Now, you're not going to do the work. they got to do the work. You guys got 30 seconds to walk up to a teacher and ask them to help you. Teachers won't do the work, but they'll be behind you supporting you. Teachers can't do the work. Teach, you go up to a teacher. No, when you go up to a teacher, if you run, you make us nervous. <laughs> Walk with caution to us. Keep distance. We like personal space. Be direct. Ask a question exactly what you're looking for. Like, I need some help on this. I think you could help me. Would you be willing to help me? If the teacher says no, this is why you left space. Get closer and ask again. Hey, there's going to be a lot of no's in life. Don't take the first no and run away. You know, the teacher says no the second time. You look at him and say, thank you. And you walk away. Teachers, you make your own choices. You're not doing anything but standing behind a kid and encouraging them. You have 30 seconds to have a teacher behind you. Go. Thank you. 
my name out loud. I'll see you get here, Mom. Love you, bye. She drove from Cleveland to Bowling Green and sat in the football stands. 2,000 people graduated that day. William F. Buckley and Mr. Rogers were the commencement speakers. That was weird. But I walked in the grass that day, and I looked up to my mom, and I heard the PA guy say this. This year's outstanding graduating senior from the College of Business is from Cleveland, Ohio, James Jones. I graduated number one from Bowling Green and I entered into the bottom 10% of schools because I just did all of these things. My mom, I don't know about you, but we were poor. It's okay to be poor. My mom saved enough money to buy me a cheap watch. But you know what the real present is? Sometimes it's just time with people, and sometimes it's just their words. She wrote a note that says, we did it, love mom. Three months later, I cut an art Wall Street Journal article out for her. I drove it back to our apartment in Cleveland, walked up the steps and knocked on the door, and she said, what are you doing? I said, I brought you something. She said, what is it? I said, it's a list of the best business students in the country. Mom, my name's in it. Thanks for ever quitting on me. Thanks for giving me your time. And mom, thank you for helping me not be afraid. Don't ever be afraid. God bless you and thanks for allowing me to be here today. All right, you guys have been outstanding. You've been, you, you've, you've been an example to everything that we talk about. Of course, I didn't know this, but uh, Jim and I, we have the same mother. Okay? That's a joke. It's a joke. All right. But have you heard that story? Have you heard that story from me? I, I wanted to bear my soul to you when your kids enter here. I could also not be. Only I'm a lot older than him. And we didn't have a learning disability, uh, a classroom where they teach you how to read. And so I told you stories how mom sat on my couch and read to me all through school. She'd read a page, I'd read a page. Okay, and then I grew up to be superintendent of schools. But it was because it was because I loved you to come back to the middle school. That and I'm not real smart, but Again, it's a joke. It's a joke. All right, you guys know how I love you. All right. With that being said, Jim taught you an important lesson. If you leave, if you you've heard it all in different ways.